I do look really rough. I just finished taking my microbiology exam. Didn't even say hi. Hi guys. If you live in New York, you probably already know this, but starting tomorrow, um, I believe it's 18 and up or 16 and up you can get or like you can try to schedule an appointment for your covid vaccine they came out with this information like a couple weeks ago and i got my appointment for tomorrow so i'm going to get my vaccine tomorrow which is exciting but also nerve-wracking all at the same time because i've heard stories about side effects and stuff and yes i know that side effects are good because it's a sign that your immune system is working and that the vaccine is working but also i just don't want to experience them because i'm getting it in the middle of the day so in between my classes since i have a huge gap in the day so if i come home and i feel not that great you know like i'm not gonna love that i don't think i will be able to film that process just because there's like violation of privacy and stuff like that even though it's me i know that like it's not a violation of privacy for me, but it could be for the office and just the provider and whoever is working there and also just the people who are there getting vaccinated. I have to respect them for that purpose. I wanted to vlog about it because this is something that is historical and the fact that in my lifetime, I've never had a pandemic and then had to have a vaccine for it. So I hope you guys are excited for this vlog. <coughs> There's a tickle in my throat. <laughs> um, that kind of concerns me, but... I am vaccinated. I'm taking a quick detour to go to Tiffany's house because I parked my car there and took the bus to where I was getting vaccinated. I picked up some Starbucks. Yeah, so let's see. Um, I'll show you guys a clip of her if I can get one. Hi. Hello. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, here. Um, you ordered a hot drink? Yeah. I was very confused. Alright guys, um, I'm currently driving home. I stopped by Tiffany's house as you can see. She gave me a lot of dessert kind of, but she also gave me quiche and like cookies and things. So I'm gonna go home and show you guys what exactly she gave me. The stuff that she gave me were either made by her aunt or her aunt's friends and they work as like pastry chefs I believe they obviously haven't been able to work because of the pandemic and so they just oh no they make the stuff at home and kind of just try to sell it on their own just to make a little bit of a uh, profit um it's really hot in here turn on the air yeah, so sometimes I think they even donate, which I think is really nice. Oh, I also have like a story to tell you guys about when I went to go pick up the drinks at Starbucks. So what happened was I was trying to... Actually, it's based on this song. So it's based on Peaches by Justin Bieber and the drink is supposed to have peach juice in it. But I mobile ordered and then when I got there, the guy was like, oh, we ran out of peach juice. So I wanted to know if you wanted to get another drink or if you were like, okay with substituting it with something else. And so I asked what other juice they had and he was like, we have guava. So I opted for that. So this drink that I got isn't per se the drink that I wanted originally and I just tasted it and it's actually pretty good so I don't think the peach juice not being added was such a bad thing but then 
the barista like after he made it he was like oh do you want to taste it and if it's not good i can remake it for you or i can remake like a different drink and i was obviously like no it's totally fine like i'll just take whatever i got with the guava juice and it actually doesn't taste bad so i'm, I'm glad that it all worked out but i just wanted to tell you guys a story because that's never happened before and the barista was so nice about it so i was just really shocked as for how i'm feeling right now from the vaccine i don't feel that different my arm isn't super sore the only like difference that i notice is that while i was taking the bus my head started hurting the, oh this is the drink by the way it's pink i couldn't tell if my head was hurting from the fact that I was taking the bus and the bus driver was driving really erratically or maybe I just haven't been on the bus in a really long time but yeah everyone in my household is now vaccinated which is great also I know a lot of people are super skeptical about the different vaccines because of the efficacy percentages but I watched a video by Vox on YouTube and it does a really good job at explaining why you can't really compare the efficacy numbers between the vaccines because the vaccines were studied at different times and the things that they were looking for were different. Bottom line is you can't compare the vaccines like Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson. It just doesn't make sense to say like this one is better than the other because the trials that were occurring happened at different times and they were doing it on different strains in different countries. So a lot of the data that they have is subjective and I think that's really important to note when someone is saying like this vaccine is better than another because that is just simply not true. If you guys are interested, I will link that video down below so that you can that car literally almost just hit me that was so scary um so that you guys can watch it if you're curious it's really hot today and i haven't eaten lunch yet and i also want to get in a workout i also looked this up like am i allowed to work out after my vaccine my car was so close to me i hate when certain people are just like so impatient like why and i am home now so tiffany's aunt made these so i just wanted to show you this is like some sort of flower cookie i don't know the name these are another type of cookie i also don't know the name and then this is a cherry pie i think and a quiche i just finished my workout and i'm about to go take a shower but before i go i wanted to show you guys my vaccination card i'm not gonna actually like show you show you but this is it it's nothing special it's just it just like says my name my birthday where i got the vaccination and the type of vaccination and the day that i got it during my workout my headache was still there and i feel like sometimes getting up from like doing push-ups or like laying on my back there were like times when i like would stand up and I could feel kind of like a throbbing pain in my head, but it's kind of gone now, so I don't really know what that was. Aside from that, I still don't feel anything in my arm. Like I can touch it and it's not tender. Fun fact, my sister also got her vaccine today. So she told me that her arm was like super sore and that she couldn't even like lift it up. And I was like, whoa. Another thing that I feel, I come I'm like I'm kind of getting hot a lot, which is weird but it could also be because today's high is 64 degrees so like who knows i do remember that like when i actually got the vaccine the i think she was a nurse she was like oh there's no blood so um i'm gonna take it off and we are gonna see what it looks like yeah there's really no blood hey guys today is the next morning so it is eight o'clock i'm coming on to give you an update on how i feel so yesterday after i got home i told you guys i felt 
okay and then towards the end of the night i started getting really tired my energy levels was kind of like a roller coaster the only reason why i feel like i kind of can gauge what my energy level was was because i was studying when like when this happened so i was studying and then i just kind of felt like really tired so i didn't want to continue so i put that aside and be like i'll do that tomorrow and then all of a sudden i would get a burst of energy like i would be wide awake then i would return back to studying and i just kept doing that i eventually went to sleep but i wouldn't say my sleep was like the best sleep ever because my arm it just started hurting like throughout the night and actually right now it's like very very tender like yesterday i could press on it and it wouldn't hurt if i press on it today i would probably wince i was putting on my shirt this morning and it would like touch it and that hurt alone yeah also the pain kind of it like comes from where the shot is and then just extends and radiates through your whole arm and kind of makes your hand feel like numb ish I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but that's literally what it feels like for me. But aside from that, I don't have anything else. Oh, my headache is still kind of there. And if I were to explain the type of headache, it's it's like the one that starts on the side and then just like drills to the other side of your head. So it like literally goes through your entire like front of your head. Hi everyone, I'm coming in for another update. So like I said before, I had a headache. It's still a little bit there, but I went to the backyard to sit in the sun because I was feeling very like cold and I don't know if it was chills or I don't know. I don't think I had a fever though because I checked my temperature and I like it was lower than what like body temp is supposed to be. I don't really know how that's possible. It was like 95. I don't know if that's like low, but I guess I was just cold because I was actually cold and not because I had a fever. Yeah, but like other than that, I think I'm just also feeling a little low on energy. Walking up the stairs, I am just really tired and I kind of just want to lay down the whole day, but I can't because I have stuff to do. Oh, and then I forgot to mention that when I like raise my arm like this, that's where it hurts like the most and i'm assuming it's because that's like when my muscle is fully contracted let's see if i can put you down like there's a huge bulge it's just very tender yeah i don't feel a bump my sister told me that i should have massaged it yesterday so that it would feel better today but i don't know if that would have made a difference so i'm massaging it now and hopefully it'll go away hey guys so i wanted to come in at the end of the day and also give you another update so after my classes i started feeling really hot and i i felt like as if a fever was like rounding the corner kind of thing but i had to do like schoolwork so i didn't want to take medicine yet i mean like for my voice i feel like you can kind of tell that i'm a little congested i can still breathe um my headache is there but just like the smidgest bit and i have to finish doing some of my micro homework right now so i'm going to try to do that and then i'm gonna try to go to sleep early because right now it's nine and i don't know how long this homework is gonna take me probably like an hour i initially was going to take ibuprofen because i really felt like my whole face was getting like really hot like if i touched my cheeks i could feel that my whole face was really hot so i thought that i was on the verge of like borderline getting a fever but i checked my temperature and it was 98.6 i believe so that doesn't count as a low-grade fever yet i looked it up a low-grade fever is about like 99.4 so it was almost there but like a couple 0.5 fahrenheit degrees actually like right now just like talking the headaches kind of coming back but i was just going to sleep on it and see how i feel tomorrow morning and if i don't feel any better then i would take the medicine then just because i feel like i won't have an issue sleeping per se it's it's just like during the day i get very tired and achy like my whole back hurts i never usually get that so it's really strange feeling that pain that's the update for now so tomorrow i think i'm just gonna see how i feel and if i don't feel any better i'll take the medicine and if i do feel better then that's great but um i think 
most importantly i think i wanted to take over tomorrow just because i have to go into school tomorrow for my lab so i'd rather not feel super sluggish and and just gross when i'm driving to school and stuff so that's the update um let me know down below if you guys have gotten the vaccine yet and if you experience any side effects um I think it's like interesting to hear just different stories from different people so definitely leave a comment down below hey guys good morning today is the second day after my vaccine so it's thursday now i got my vaccine on tuesday i'm feeling a lot better so that's a good thing i am drinking some coffee because i just had some breakfast and at first when i woke up this morning i still had a little bit of a headache but then as I ate and got some food in me, it kind of went away. So I'm feeling a lot better now and I don't think I'll need to take the medicine, which is a good thing because I was reading articles about like taking medicine after the vaccine and obviously you can if your symptoms are really bad and you just can't deal with the side effects. But the thing about taking medicine is that it's going to suppress your immune response. Yeah, so I just thought like, Maybe it'd be better if I don't take medicine and it wasn't terribly hard to deal with because it was mostly just a tension headache. I went to sleep wearing a fuzzy like pullover and I had a fuzzy blanket on with a comforter so I was very bundled and then like in the middle of the night I think I unconsciously took off my sweater because it was so hot and then I just slept in my short sleeve that's basically the end of this video i got over my my side effects in about one and a half days because it would have been two days if it like reached 12 ish which is when i got my vaccine so it wasn't too bad it i mean like in the moment it was bad just because i had a lot of stuff to do and i was feeling like terrible but if you are just like lounging around it's not that bad at least for me because i didn't have a fever and and other things but let me check my temperature and then um i'll show you guys what it is because right now i don't think i have a fever look at this thermometer you basically shoot it at your head yeah i'm at 97.6 so that's good and that means that i do not have a fever all right that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you found it very insightful in terms of just getting the vaccine and side effects and everything like that and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye